So, so that's in terms of the management side of it. Uh, if you look at uh, the, you know, the, uh, the epidemiological evidence, th there has been over the last several years growing medical evidence uh, that is uh, demonstrating associations between pesticide exposure uh, and, uh, and cancer. Uh, the most credible study was done in 2012 where the American Academy of Pedi Pediatrics uh, put out a position paper. Uh, they did uh, a, a very detailed, uh, uh, very detailed research, uh, what we refer to as a meta-analysis. So they were able to pull uh, more than 100 research papers that looked at pesticide exposure uh, and uh, and the incidence of cancer. Uh, and what they found uh, was that uh, pesticide exposure is extremely uh, of extreme concern uh, um, when uh, when children are exposed to pesticides. So if you look at that early life exposure to they found uh, uh, a, a direct link to pediatric cancers and decreased uh, uh, cognitive function. So this is a credible group of, of thousands of, of pediatricians in the United States that was able to uh, pull in not one study here or another study there, which is not the way to provide evidence to inform policy changes, but they were able to pull together hundreds of research papers from independent researchers, uh, and looking at all that data, were able to draw the conclusion that pesticide exposure in the early years so that, that's a big concern. What's the mandate of the Cancer Society of 